A lot of folks in business think that they're ready for the sell on day one, but they're not. They're not creating relationships with people. They're not really qualifying if someone is actually an immediate customer or something else. Think of it as two buckets. Number one is they're likely my customer within the next 30 days or they're someone else, which means you have to build that relationship, build that rapport up. And I think that a lot of people uh, misinterpret when they should actually go for the sell before they actually know what it is. And so I'm a firm believer that you should talk numbers with someone very early on in the situation to see if you guys are even in on the same you know, budgets. And a lot of people will um, wait and get a proposal out to someone and it's the first time they ever talked about numbers. And what ends up happening is that that person, even if the proposal was for $1, they weren't expecting that number because you never brought it up to them before. And they actually deny it, even though that number could have been appropriate had they actually talked about the numbers. But when should you actually talk numbers? Well, if you're thinking in high school dating terms, don't go for a home run on the first date. Have a series of dates and lead up to it so that when you do go for the home run, you're more likely to succeed. Think of it. If you go on a series of dates and then you have first, second, and third base first, think of that situation so that when you do go for the home run or maybe even the grand slam in business, you've provided a ton of value to people before. Think of, uh, of you went to an event you got their business card, you created a ton of value for them, you provided them that value, you gave them a lot of time, and then, and, and all while during that, you've kind of um, alluded to the fact that there's going to be something more, so that when it does happen, they are already expecting it, and they are going to say yes, right? So put the things in place throughout time so that when you do actually say this is what it's gonna cost, it is gonna cost a dollar, they're not afraid of it, they're expecting it, and they basically already said yes, they just wanna see it in documented form. So when should you go for the sell? Well, you should be creating a series of incremental um, kind of sales pitches in your day to days with these people so that when you do go for the actual home run, you go for the grand slam, you ask for the sale, they already know exactly what they're going to get, they already know why you are a good fit so that when you do put pen to paper or write the email or send the proposal, they already know exactly what you're gonna get so that when you do go for the kill, the sale, it happens almost every single time. Every single time.